And Rank Makers was pitched as this different breed of network marketers. They were the people that were going to do, they were doing it right. And they were going to teach you exactly what to do every single day in your network marketing business to achieve success. I was in that group. I was assigned a coach. And looking back, <laughs> you're going to hear me say a lot, but look, at, say that a lot. Uh, I realized I just learned more manipulative sales tactics and scripts mm -hmm. and ways to connect with people that by that point, my tolerance had, you know, what I was able to tolerate had, had changed so much that I did not even see it. It was yeah. the age old, like, frogs in the boiling Frog and water, yeah. pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where the, the temperature was slowly getting turned up and I didn't realize that like I needed to jump out at that yeah. point, but I used all the tools. I bought his tools and his books and everything for my team because there's another thing within multi-level marketing that I don't get, think it's talked about enough. And that is like, you as a leader, the pressure to keep your team around. And mm -hmm. actually, Ray used to say, he still says it, but he say, keep them around the campfire because sooner or later they're going to catch a spark. And what that means is keep them close to the group so you can indoctrinate them further. I didn't get that at the time, yeah. but as a leader, there is a real pressure that if your team, if you have an attrition problem, you are told you actually have a team culture problem. Right. And you as a leader, you're making it so those people want to leave. So you were told buy them gifts and swag and books. Love bomb. And yes, love bomb them. Mm -hmm. So I would buy all of his stuff and, you know, for my yeah. team and, we all then got into like his, the Ray universe 